Ladies and gentlemen, it's your old pal Snap-on Mark, and if you've been following along with my uh, Evaporust saga, uh, you already know what's going on, but if not, let me catch you up. Um, I put a couple of wrenches in Evaporust and uh, forgot about them, and uh, they were super duper rusty. I put them in there, and um, you're supposed to do 1 to 12 hours, and they were in there for about 6 months, and um, it certainly took all the rust off of them, but it also seemed to damage the chrome a little bit, but... Nothing, uh, nothing as far as the metal goes, whereas with vinegar, it will actually, it'll erode the metal away. So in other words, if you have a half inch wrench, it'll wear it out to nine sixteenths or whatever. But, uh, Evaporus does not seem to actually affect the metal. So, uh, pretty good stuff, man. I'm a huge fan. I've done a bunch of Evaporus videos. They still have never commented or liked any of my videos. Um, I'm still going to continue to use them, uh, even though I'm like a little bit salty toward them. Um, the least you could do is just say, you know, like a thumbs up or something, dude. Come on. Anyways, um, I've got uh, these snap-on sockets that I've been soaking. Full disclosure, um, I moved them around after about 24 hours just to see what was going on. And uh, today I stirred them around just a little bit just to see if they were okay. Because after 24 hours, they didn't quite have all the rust off. Um, and now it seems like it's all completely gone. Even the like the stuff on the side where it was flaking is uh, you can see it ate all the rust off of there and internally took all the rust and if you see the first videos they're awfully rusty even the bottoms were really rusty so uh i'm super excited that it that i mean it did that good of a job and i'll try to find some other better uh, like uh yeah right here like this one in particular um you can see on the bottom there's spots where the rust was but it was a uh, boy it was really really rusty and also on the inside had quite a bit of rust too. I bought this set um, off of uh, a couple of brothers that ran a speed shop. And uh, according to the day codes, they're they're from like 1982. So I think when Evapo Rust, you know, puts the suggestions on the bottle, they're not thinking, hey, I got some stuff from the 80s. I'm trying to get rust off. They probably figure, hey, I left my chainsaw out for, you know, eight months in the shed or something. So I don't blame them at all, you know. And they probably want to err on the side of caution so people don't, you know, ruin the ruin the finish or anything. But, man, look at how well these things turned out. I'm super excited. Absolutely. I mean, you can see even here it was pitted and it's just gone. The rust is just completely gone. And it's not like they weren't usable sockets before, but, boy, they only would have gotten worse, you know, over time. And um, these ones over here are the same set, the same set that I had. Um, you know, it was from half inch all the way up to like an inch and a sixteenth. So you can see, I mean, there's visible rust on the side. Um, it's got rust, uh, actually in the, uh, in the inner surface and it has it on the bottom. So you can tell. So this works so well. I'm going to definitely dunk these in there. I have, uh, this one, I mean, going down from uh, one and an eighth all the way down to half inch. I'm going to dunk those ones in there. And nothing seems to infuriate people more than when you don't have everything completely on a video. Ooh, splash. But I, and I don't understand why, honestly. It's not like I'm a clickbait guy. I just want you guys to follow along. I'm, I'm learning as, as, uh, at the same time you guys are, you know. So I'm just doing my thing and I figure you guys would want to follow along. It's not like I'm, you know, it's not like I'm getting paid or anything. <laughs> I just want to show you guys what I'm up to. This is just pretty much my life. It's not like I'm trying to, you know, fool anybody into, into following my videos. And I really appreciate everybody that comments and watches along. And boy, here's one you could tell. This was completely rusted across. And uh, someone definitely banged that in, probably trying to get an axle nut socket or something off. And all the rust is completely gone. I mean, that's just incredible to me. So I am going to probably take just a little... Uh, wire brush and go over these ones and then I'll probably soak them in some oil and I'll stick these bad boys into the evapo rust maybe there'll be another part I don't know I might do another part just to piss off the people that said don't do another part you know because wh why not who are you you know uh, the only thing I would suggest and a lot of people are gonna probably give me grief on this uh, this is my grandmother's secret recipe but you want to put just a little bit of ground cinnamon uh, the evapo rust itself it was concentrated, so you just enough to sprinkle it on the top. You don't need to go crazy, you know, just a little bit of ground cinnamon. And then when you're done, I mean, it's not like it's going to change the flavor or anything, but uh, it definitely spices things up and it acts as a catalyst uh, to start removing the uh, 
the iron oxide. So, uh, I sure appreciate you guys watching. I apologize because I always end up rambling on. And uh, happy wrenching, everybody. And uh, any comments or questions about what I'm up to or how well the Evapo Rust works, please drop them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. All right, have a great day.